Hi guys, uh, this is 2000 Nissan Pulsar the N16. So this one had blubber means uh, blowing head gasket. So today I'm going to do the remove the head gasket and put new head gasket. So this one the mixing water with the oil. So I can see in the the oil cap inside or milking. So I drain the oil and filter, you can see the all the oil mixing with the water, it's so milky. So first we have to remove the, the rocker cover and the exhaust manifold, and the inlet manifold and the other stuff in uh, the air duct. Okay, you can see the and the oil. Let's mix it the water everywhere. So we have to put off this timing chain side.
Okay, we got the timing mark so this yellow mark is this dot in here and this yellow mark this dot on here straight away in here one in here the other one in here So we're going to off the camshaft.
Okay, we all done. We're going to uh, lift up the head. Okay, guys, we're going to remove the head. You can see the number two cylinder in water. Okay, guys, this is the cylinder the block. So you can see the number two cylinder is like a very clean, steam clean. So the head gasket. It's going. It's between in here the leaking water. okay guys this is the back of the head so I found the problem is this head this head uh, we can't reuse it so we need to get another head because this one had a crack on the head it's the number two cylinder okay you can see the number two cylinder in here you can see in here is a crack mark the block the head uh, you can see it's very big it's a crack mark that's why it's water so leak into the oil this is the water line so we need to remove replace this uh, the head I got the already the new head this is the, this is the old one and I got the new head in here for the wreckers okay so we have to swap the parts of the this head the minlet manifold total body and this the thermostat housing so this is a new head this one already uh, clean so we have to check for this head the uh, pressure test and uh, a little bit free face for the cylinder face and uh, to install okay guys I already cleaned the cylinder block you can see now it's very clean so I got the head gasket so this one going like this way so I got the The torque for the headboard tightening so I'm already clean the reconditioned head you can see the back side we did the pressure test and the clean the back side all good this one now is ready to go so we're going to install the new head gasket so before we the, do the head gasket we doing some uh, select for the head for the leaking So 
So we finished the the select with the top on the cylinder block. Now then after you have to put the new head gasket. Enough to put uh, again select. So we're going to install the new cylinder head. Okay. So then you have to put the new head bolts. Let's put the oil a little bit on the the pole. Okay, we do first 32 newton meter tight for the cylinder head. So after that we using our angle torque the 50 degrees Okay we do the another angle torque All good. We done the head ball top already. So we have to after that do the timing side. So now we're going to install the 
the camshaft this is the intake one and after that the exhaust exhaust side yeah The aroma is up. There is a mark one, two, three, four. Then I'll fix the side. This is the two sprockets, you can see this is the exhaust side one and you can see the, the mark, tiny mark It's one dot there This is the intake gear Let me mark it here and this one, this dot. Okay, we're going to install the intake gear. Back is one notch there. After that we put the exhaust gear Okay, 
okay this is the timing adjuster becoming two bolts and there come no no any gaskets okay we have to pin this one and put it back okay we done the timing chain time mark the timing register in the back all good then you have to tight for the this two 22 millimeter the gear camshaft gear bolts okay everything is done now we're going to turn the engine to the make sure that timing is all good not the heating wells So we're going to install the rocker cover. Okay, this come from rubber gasket. All good. Let me install the exhaust side. So we tighten the rocker cover gasket and install the ignition coil and then after put the wiring back in all good okay guys we finally done the job now we have to do the uh, fill the engine oil and start the car before we have to do the two time oil change because there was a very uh, milky oil inside so first we are in the cap then put the new engine oil and the filter then after remove the filter and put back the new filter again uh, clean the inside of the engine so after that we put the jumper pack on it going to start the car All good. Car is running fine. Okay, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching my video. We'll see you in the next one.